your basic keys for the U.S. and uh, a lot of the similar world. Your key width is going to be a distance and your depth is going to be just half of that. So you'd have X and one half of X. Or if this was a one inch key, it would be a half an inch deep. And the same for the inside, you're going to be a half inch. Now, where you measure that is not off of the top of the shaft. The shaft comes up a little bit more. There's a distance in there that's different. Same thing here. You're measuring it from the straight side portion of the keyway. And you do that so that it's always the same for a given key and you end up with square stock that fits in there. So your one inch key will be nominally one inch by one inch. Half of it goes in the shaft, half of it goes in the hub. And in metric land, um, they'll have rectangular keys. Your European is generally rectangular keys. But you get into a real strange world of keys that are metric size, but they're made according to the inch standard. So they're square, but they're metric size. So there's quite a mix in the world today. And then we got Woodruff keys, which are pretty neat also. On a Woodruff key, your shaft is going to be different because that's going to come down so that you, when the key is in, it is sticking up half of the width. So if you had a one inch, which this is not, of course, but if you had a one inch, it would still stick up a half inch when it's in. And there's a uh, whole series so you can look for the given sizes in the machiner's handbook for how far to cut this down. And... Uh, these used to be real common, not that common today. Uh, where they're nice is if you have an angled shaft or something, and they're quick, easy, they don't come out. You can you cut it in with a cutter, and it doesn't come out. And we'll talk about Woodruff key cut, keys some other time. Main thing I just wanted to get at was the main thing for keys, real simple, it's half of the depth, um, half of the width is the depth, either way, whether you're internal or external. And you go just a little bit over. And it normally, for smaller sizes, it's like five thousandths extra clearance. Bigger sizes, you might have twenty thousandths. In the real world, you get into like a two or a three inch wide key, it'll be an eighth of an inch deeper sometimes. Now, that's not what it's spec'd out as. That's not what the engineering drawing says. Real world, go measure them. You'll find out a lot of times they're way deeper because you want it to fit.